All right guys, Matt Curry here. I am at another model home that is for sale. This is by Woodside Homes. This is the Jewel. It is for sale for 898,600. It is worth every penny. Holy cow, there is a lot going on here. This home excites me a lot. Check it out. First things first, you have a speaker in that rock. That's just cool. Anyways, it's windy out, so bear with me. We'll be inside in just a minute. But look at this home. Lots of curb appeal. Like the shutters, like the stone, big garage. Okay, let's get out of this wind. It's cold in Arizona today, guys. All right. So, come in, you're immediately in awe. This home just opens up. Okay, look, right there, entry to the garage. Right here, you've got your powder room. Okay, nice accent wall. This is a model, but it's for sale, guys. Always asking me for the models. I can actually get this one. Well, it's a coat closet. They're using it for their cleaning. Gotta stay clean. Anyways, let's go over here. First off, I like this use of space, right? You could just have an awkward little spot, but they put some cabinets in there. I like that. Okay, now this bedroom has its own ensuite. Nice shower. Holy moly. Okay, you got the nice countertops. Nice mirror to see your favorite agent. And then this bedroom overlooks everything. Now you can tell, I should have showed you out front, but it's windy. You got the park right there. So if your kids or if you want to go play on the jungle gym, you can. It's right there. It's not a long walk. Okay. Got the nice closet. So really like these ensuite bedrooms on the first floor, especially with all the multi-generational living we have going on. If you've got, you know, an older family member who doesn't want to go up the stairs right there, um, they can stay down here, have everything they need. Okay, so first things first, look at this. You've got this little courtyard right here. Woo! It's noisy out here because of that fountain, but Absolutely gorgeous, love this pergola. Love the tile work, everything. Okay, got your air conditioners tucked away over there. And then it opens up to the rest of the yard. Lots of green, love it. All right, now, right here. You've got this neat, office space. Now you get that accent wall, you get those sconces, all that, they come with the home. Don't get the horse photo, it's kind of a bummer, but it's pretty cool. Okay, I just like it. Imagine this is your office and you just get a look out at your soothing water feature while you're working. Oh, that sounds so nice. Now you come over here into the living room and I like this, this accent wall with this stone and then these built-ins, very nice. This is all stuff that you would have to do afterwards, okay? Models, they put it all in. You've got these nice plantation shutters on the windows and you've got these big windows right here. Now they're underneath an outside back covered patio so you don't need the shutters on them. But then you got the kitchen also. Look at how much lighting there is in here. There is a ton. Okay, for a while, people built really dark homes. They realized eh, it kind of makes you depressed. Start throwing a bunch of lights in. These guys nailed it. Okay, you got the fridge, you got the oven, you got the microwave built in. I guess the fridge isn't really built in, but it's right there. Anyways, nice countertops. Love this island feature how it's designed, absolutely beautiful. Pendant lighting. Look at this. Oh. Gas stove, farmhouse style sink, dishwasher right next to it. Also, I like this. It's got this little butler's pantry area. How cool is that? How do I even capture all of this? There's so much. Okay, right here you've got the actual pantry. So, 
Butler's pantries though are so nice. They are such a good feature. Just because if you're the kind of person who likes to have friends over, you like to cook, it's so nice to be able to put, you know, dessert or whatever back there out of the way. And who doesn't want more counter space? Okay. Now I, I am absolutely loving these windows. They're actually kind of nostalgic for me because I grew up in a home with big windows like this off the kitchen and I used to love it. I'd be a little kid, I'd be out there doing something I thought was cool, I'd be yelling at my mom to come look at me through the window. So, it's kind of nice. Also, since it's a model, the yard is done and it is done beautifully. Look at that. Okay, nice tiling. Of course, they'll block it all up, these walls, so that you're not staring at your neighbors. Could be awkward if they didn't. Right back there's that water feature. But all right, let's go ahead, let's get back inside, let's go upstairs. Guys, these bedrooms are amazing. So, to get to the bedrooms, what I like is that they're separate from the rest of the house. You see, you gotta walk over here. That way when you have people coming in, they're not stopping by all the bedrooms. You got these stairs. I like how this is actually like kind of curved. It just gives it a little flavor. Okay, you go on up these stairs. And then you've got this loft area right here. Love it. I absolutely love these spaces because they're just an extra little spot for you to just sit down, gather. I like them. I'm a dad, you know, so before I put my kids to sleep, I can bring them up here, read them a story, and then send them off to their bedrooms, which are all over here. So first off, big closet. I know it's a linen closet, but you got the loft right there, so this will be stuffed full of games for game night. Okay, master bedroom's there. We're going there last, it's amazing. Nice shower, all upgraded. We're sorry, nice floor in the bathroom. Nice mirrors to your favorite agent, not included, but I will help you buy the house. Wash your hands, that's important. Okay, nice shower tub, toilet. Here, you've got this bedroom. What I like is this bedroom has the walk-in closet. Look at that. I think the hardest part about being a real estate agent is I'm always walking into homes like, ooh, I want this one. I'm really getting that in this house. Anyways, over here, got this bedroom. stuff. Got another walk-in closet. Okay, there you go. Linen closet. Definitely put the linens in there. There's your washer and dryer in the washroom. But we're going to come back to that and I'll show you why. Because we're going to go over here to the master bedroom and be prepared to be odd. By the way, you look out the window. That's the pergola for that uh, courtyard area. But this master bedroom, holy moly, okay? So you got windows everywhere. Then you've got a sitting area, because why not? Okay, put a TV over there. I like how they set this desk up in here. It's kind of nice. Also, a wet bar, because why not? Okay. The sink right there. Got a mini fridge. Nice countertops. Very nice. All right now, you come into here into the bathroom. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this. This closet is gigantic. Nice chandelier too. All right, so lots of room for activities. We're closed. Whatever. 
then right here you have a two fixture shower okay love it Ooh, i didn't notice that earlier this little alcove for you to put your stuff all right first shower head second shower head massive rain shower head love it also i like these glass walls Water closet right there, window, let the light in. And then look at this, huge mirror, see your favorite agent, nice countertops, cabinets, you got it. Now, look at this laundry room. I like how they put the dog food in here. Old dog bed, nice. Fit to pretty tall stand up washer and dryer right there. Okay. Obviously, they got to put that face on. And then you've got all the smart home connections right here. Absolutely amazing. So, anyways, just look at this, this bedroom again, though. So much space. And a wet bar. I mean, how often do you get that? Anyways, guys, this neighborhood's pretty much built up. Uh, really, there's this one, and I believe one more of this floor plan that are available. So if you want it, give me a call, quick, uh, because this one will not last long, and I can say that pretty confidently. Um, this is a beautiful home. So I'll have my phone number, everything in the description. Give me a call.